Hey, Ryan Collector with Gun University. I'm a former special operations sniper and sniper instructor, and I'm the best-selling author of the Long Range Shooting Handbook. And in an earlier video, we explored mill radians, or mills, explained what they were and how to use them, including applications like making adjustments on targets, whether you're zeroing your rifle or you're trying to adjust your impacts to get a better hit, and also how to use mill radians as adjustments for elevation to engage targets at different distance. Well, the problem is you might be wondering how in the heck, Ryan, do we get those values in the first place to know to hit a target at a certain distance? Well, I thought it'd be good to bring you out here and walk you through the process that I would go through if I had a new rifle or a new setup to try and get that dope, that data on previous engagements, that elevation adjustments that I'm going to use at targets at different distance. Out here, we're shooting the S&B Match 6.5 Creedmoor, 142 grain bullets. And there's a couple of ways we can figure out what we're going to do for the drop of this bullet. One way is we can look on the box. Yeah, many times boxes have some data printed right on there. Now, you can't trust this stuff because it's not going to match your rifle exactly. But it could give you a little bit of a ballpark or a way to go. And I look on here and I can see different drops in inches and velocities at different ranges. Well, let's look at this first target and see how far away it is. This first target is 200 and 25 meters away. Now, if you watched the earlier video on understanding what mill radians are and how to use them, you already know that you should be thinking in 2.25 centimeter chunks. So that, okay? Matter of fact, if you haven't watched that video, pause now and go watch it. Are you back? All right, now you understand mills. You understand how to think in those chunks. So it's a 225 meter target. We're automatically thinking in 2.25 centimeter chunks. Well, according to the box, it's going to drop about 18 centimeters. So I can take the 18 centimeters it's going to drop, divide it by that 2.25 to see how many of those chunks would fit inside of there, and it says eight. So I could come up eight tenths of a mil right now and see how close I can get. Or we can use some ballistic software my Kestrel. I already have the target distance and the ballistic profile loaded in, and this software says 0.74. Guys, that's pretty close. 0.74 mils or 0.8 mils when we're just trying it out to see what works for this rifle. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try 0.7 because I think 0.8 is a little high. Let's see what happens. Right in the center. Let's do another one just to make sure that we like this elevation. Yep, there we go. So the reason I shot again is just after one shot, I can't tell. Maybe I got a little lucky on that spot. Maybe it was a little high, a little low. Shoot a couple shots to get a trend. And if it is too high or too low, we can make an adjustment. Matter of fact, I kind of wish it was too high or too low right now so I could show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and fake it. Let's say, let's move it up a little bit. Let's move the bullet impact up about that high, which would put it in the neck of that target. That target's about, I don't know, yay big. What is it, a half size zipstick? third size zipstick, something like that. So let's move the bullet up about that high and put it in the neck of the target. Well, if you're thinking in those 2.25 centimeter chunks, I'm guessing that's gonna be two of those chunks. So let's go ahead and come up two tenths of a mil and see if we can make the math work for us. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I'm sorry, I get excited because this is fun to me. The, the geek in me likes seeing the math work out exactly like it should. I would then go ahead and write down the dope that I had that I liked, pull out an index card, write down the distance, write down those elevations I need, and now I know with this rifle and this ammo, at that distance, that's what I need to do to hit. Let's go ahead and move on to another target and keep putting this into practice. The next target out there, let's see, is 300 meters exactly. It's almost like they did that on purpose. So let's go ahead and look at our software and see what 300 meters is. I already loaded it in with this gun in the profile, and it says 1.44. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and try 1.4 mils up and see what it does for us. That's a good hit there. A little to the right, so I'm going to favor some more wind. There we go. All right, that first hit was a good elevation, but it was on the right side of the target because this wind out here. I didn't hold enough into the wind. So the second time, I just held a little bit more to the left for the wind. Do not worry about the wind when you're gathering this data. That doesn't matter. The wind changes every time. From every time you're out shooting, it's going to be different. I'm worried only about elevation. Both those hits were there nice and solid, which tells me 
at 300 meters with this rifle and this ammo, 1.4 mils is what it takes to hit. All right, guys, you understand mills, you see how to use them, you know how to go collect that on your, on your ammo and your rifle, and you know how to record it. Why don't you get out there and give it a try yourself?